हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ कुमार एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू डॉन ऑफ फ्रीडम अगस्त 1947 बाय फैज अहमद फैज सो फ्रेंड्स 1947 वाज़ द ईयर दैट चेंज्ड द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट एज वेल एज द लाइफ ऑफ मैनी ऑफ इट्स पीपल दिस वॉज द ईयर वेन इंडिया नॉट ओनली गोट इट्स इंडिपेंडेंस बट वॉज ऑल्सो partitioned into mainly hindu india and muslim pakistan the much launched for independence brought in its wake turmoil and violent conflict hindus and muslim who had fought for independence side by side were now fighting each other blood flowed on both sides dawn of freedom has for its background the independence of india accompanied by the partition It is clearly the most overtly political and direct poem of Faiz prison years. It turns back to the moment of partition and with the knowledge of recent events and asks whether the severing or partition was the solution to muslim problems after all. The poet writes this poem with a sense of melancholy about the fruits of labor as he verifies that this was not the independence sought after. So now let us read the poem This light smeared and spotted this night written dawn This line refers to the fact that freedom's dawn is not free from the shadow of night Here night stands for oppression injustice misery and suffering while dawn signifies freedom from these and hopes for a new order This isn't surely the dawn we waited so eagerly. This isn't surely the dawn with whose desire cradled in our hearts. We had set out friends all hoping we should somewhere find the final destination of the stars in the forests of heaven. The slow rolling night must have a shore somewhere. The boat of the afflicted hearts grieving will drop anchor somewhere the young friends who with a passionate yearning set out to meet and greet the beloved dawn had expected that it would be clear spotless and free from the marks of the night their expectations however were valid because freedom's dawn was accompanied by partition which brought in its wake bloodshed rights large scale force migration and consequent misery and pain night has not really ended when from the mysterious paths of youth's hot blood the young fellows moved out numerous were the hands that rose to clutch the hems of their garments open arms cold bodies entreated from the impatient bed chambers of beauty but the yearning for the dawn's face was too dear the hem of the radiant beauty's garment was very close the load of desire was not too heavy exhaustion lay somewhere on the margin in these lines freedom's dawn is compared to the beloved one and the young friends are her paramours when they set out taking youth's secret pathways to meet the beloved dawn they encountered many temptations young beautiful ladies tried to seduce them but they were not moved their gaze was fixed only on the face of dawn it said the darkness has been cleft from light already it said the yearning feet have found union with the destination these lines indicates that dawn has arrived The protocols of those who held the pain in their hearts have changed now. Joy of union, yes, agony of separation, forbidden. Here the ways and stance of the leaders have changed. They are now happy and satisfied that with the advent of freedom stone, the new state of Pakistan has come into being. So now they believe that there is no point in lamenting the partition of the country. the warning of the liver the eyes eagerness the heart's grief 
remain unaffected by this care for disunion pain from where did the beloved the morning breeze come where did it go so the creation of the new state is no cure for the deep scars and anguish and pain that freedom has brought in its wake the street lamp at the edge of the road has no notion yet the street lamp may signify common and ordinary people the weight of the night has not lifted yet the moment for the emancipation of the eyes and the hurt has not come yet let's go on we haven't reached the destination yet so here in these lines the poet says that this is a false dawn the time for redemption has not yet come so the poet urges his friends and compatriots to press on for the real dawn is not yet in sight so friends our poems dawn of freedom august 1947 ends here this this version of the poem has been translated by baran fruki and the poem in a nutshell is a bitter lamentation about the false dawn of independence and the betrayal of the ideals of the movement to gain freedom dignity and economic justice so our this poem ends here i hope you understand the poem very well if you understand the poem then please like share and comment on the video and please subscribe the channel for further such updates this much all in this lecture thank you very much for joining us